What are the mistakes that first time cruisers make and uh, what can be done to kind of avoid them? So uh, thinking back to your, your first cruise and like what things, what things did, were kind of mistakes. One thing that um, I feel so bad when I see people do it because I feel I'm, I'm empathetic. I empathize with them. I feel so embarrassed for them is when they try to use their credit card or cash on the ship somewhere. Oh, because you yeah. use your sail and sign card, and so first-time cruisers they don't necessarily know that. Maybe they haven't watched our video about that where we explain how it works, and it's just so embarrassing. I can't bear to watch. It hurts to watch when someone's at the bar and they take out their credit card or a lot of cash. Just like no, that's oh. I mean, no one ever gives you a hard time about it. They're totally lovely about it, they, and they explain it quite nicely. They understand for first-timers. Yeah. It's just hard to watch. <laughs> the only place where you really want to use cash on the ship is if you're tipping a performer. So like some. Somebody is singing in the piano bar uh, or maybe you want to buy a comedian's DVD after a comedy show those things are cash transactions because those people aren't plugged into the system because yeah. that's sort of a private transaction but other than that you use your card everywhere uh, another classic one is when people use uh, wear the life jacket to the safety briefing yeah, you don't need to wear your life jacket to the safety brief. You don't need to wear your life jacket at all. Yeah. Like, unless it's an emergency. Yeah, I mean, check quickly to make sure you got the right number for the number of people in your cabin, and then just kind of forget they exist, really, unless something horrific happens. The thing is, the safety briefing, it's hot, it's crowded. Mm -hmm. You don't want an extra layer of clothing on for that. You, you know, like, the padding and stuff takes up space, and it's, like, bright orange. Yeah. So nothing says I'm a first-time cruiser, like, showing up in your personal flotation yeah. device at the safety yeah. briefing. Again, I just... I feel for them. I don't want to be that person. It's just so embarrassing. Because once you're there, you can't really leave to go take it back. So you're stuck with it. Yeah. Um, a another classic one, uh, which I feel much less sympathy for, <laughs> is not getting back to the ship on time. Yes. Oh, they, they <laughs> tell you over and over again what time you need to be back on the ship at. Mm -hmm. it's just and and there's always the some there's almost always somebody that's always late. Somebody Your name that's late. gets announced. Mercedes, yeah. I think, was the name on this sailing in Ensenada. Yeah. Mercedes, please call guest services at seven 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 because yeah. they they haven't come back to the ship on time. So yeah. the ship might be late. They might get left behind. Uh, they could be running on the pier. We got pier runner videos in Ketchikan and uh, Bahamas and some other places because it's a little funny. Mazatlan. Um, and so I feel for them a little bit, but also you had so many opportunities to know the time yeah. uh, that it really is. I, I, I do kind of point and laugh sometimes. Yeah. I feel a little bad, but not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Yeah. Uh, just, you know, get back to the ship on time. And it's like, especially if you're a first time cruiser, maybe stick to the carnival excursions mm -hmm. rather than doing your own thing or booking yeah. something privately yes. just until you get a little bit more comfortable with how everything works. Uh, so you know where to look for the information. Uh, don't take risks on your first cruise would probably be my advice. And if you check out the other videos, you'll know that we did post a video in regards to uh, would the ship leave you if you were on a carnival excursion, whether or on an excursion on, that you booked on your own outside of carnival. Mm -hmm. So check out those videos. It'll give you the answer to those questions. Yeah, and for the record, the ship will leave you yeah. if you're not it, on a carnival yes, excursion. If you are not on a carnival <laughs> excursion, they will leave you, yes. And at your own cost, yeah. you know, so, uh, and you may or may not be able to rejoin the ship later in the journey, depending on regulations and timing and stuff. So, uh, and it's all at your own cost. So just, yeah, just yeah. don't. And Carnival I mean, excursions only. Yeah. Uh, the one, the one exception to that is in uh, Mahogany Bay, Jan Daniel Johnson's is oh, very professional. Yes. They're quite good. Yeah. Uh, so I would trust them. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, yeah. Another classic first time cruiser mistake is I think to overpack. People pack so much I've stuff. I've done that too, yes. Well, I mean, yeah. and not to call you out, but even on this trip, you were thinking about bringing a first aid kit, shampoo, conditioner. You don't need those don't things. Need those they're things. on the ship. Yeah, they're on the ship, yeah. Uh, and so people pack tons of stuff. Uh, they pack like disinfectant and shampoo and soap and all this. And so uh, it really, you know, uh, overpacking, I think, is yeah. a classic first-time cruiser mistake. Yeah. Now, you might have reasons for wanting to pack more than the average person. You might have a medical condition, or you might have concerns about health and safety or, or cleanliness or whatever, um, but I would say to try and pack as little as possible. You really, for for any cruise, I think, you don't need more than a carry-on. Now, of course, I've done like 28 days in Europe with just a carry-on, so I might be a little unusual there, but mm. um, generally speaking, uh, I, I think you can travel fairly light for, for a cruise. You don't need to bring snacks. People are like, what snacks should I bring? None. Don't bring any. There's food. Food. Free food on the ship. Yeah. And like any hour of the day. Don't waste an opportunity to yeah. eat ship food because it's good. It's and really it's good. generally yeah. free. So like, 
you know, the most exciting time on a cruise ship is when I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because there's so much selection. Some people kind of underdress. I, I still fall victim to this sometimes. I do, yeah. It's like, we went to Mexico in, in May. It should be hot, but mm -hmm. at nighttime it's cold, so I need the pants and a sweater or something for being on, you know, out on the deck at night. Yeah. So underdressing can, can definitely be a thing. Um, and there can also be check-in issues uh, where maybe people didn't complete their online check-in before coming or they didn't bring their passport. Maybe they forgot it or they don't have a passport. Uh, and you don't necessarily need a passport. I think American driver's licenses will work, but I, we recommend passports because yeah. everyone recognizes them. They don't vary from state to state uh, and they work everywhere. Uh, so check-in issues. We've got a tutorial video up on our channel about how to do your online check-in. It's not particularly hard, but we walk you through it. And so if you complete your online check-in and just bring the boarding pass and your passport, then you're pretty good. And the science and stuff is pretty intuitive. Yeah. Um, but that's one of the first time cruiser mistakes is they don't do the check-in or they do it, they don't bring the printout or they don't bring their passport or they forget it or it's buried at the bottom of their bag when they get to the port. Show up to the port ready to go. Have your, your boarding pass printed and your uh, and your passport. They have, have them in your hand, so yeah. that way you can just automatically hand it to the to the agent. Boarding pass into the picture page of the passport, hand it over. It'll go. That's how you make it go as fast as possible. Faster for you, faster for the people behind you. Please do that. Everyone yeah. appreciates it, and you benefit as well. Yeah. Now, Carnival has begun uh, accepting mobile check-in uh, at some ports, but uh, I don't know how fully fluid that process is yet. So you can do it, but I would still recommend having the paper printout as a backup, uh, just because it could go faster. Um, so are there any other kind of first time cruiser mistakes that you can think of? Things that you see people doing and you remember yourself on your uh, first Well, cruise? for example, if you're in a lineup and uh, you're on your phone, uh, pay attention to the people ahead of you, you know, because the people ahead of you will move and you're sitting there looking at your phone, not moving. You're now delaying the people, not only yourself, but you're delaying the people behind you and now people want to go around you because you're not moving. Yeah, you become a so, pylon, you're a cone. <laughs> pay attention to your surroundings at all times. That's, yeah, that's a that's a good idea. Yeah, or you're walking down and you have to stop to check your phone. you got to stop to do something off to the side. Don't just stop dead where you are and kneel down and go through your bag or whatever because the people mm -hmm. behind you are not expecting you to come to a sudden stop. Yeah. So if you have to come to a stop, move off to the side so that you're not blocking anybody else. Oh, I just thought of another thing. Yeah. First time cruisers. Um, they think all the, fo all the photos are mandatory. So yeah, like no. you're going through check-in and they've got the backdrop drop of the ship. Yeah. You can pose for that. That photo's not free. That's yeah. going to be, you know, like what, 11 $13 minimum yeah. is like the cheapest you could get it. Yeah. Uh, and you're against the backdrop. You're going to be on the ship. You can take your own photos on the ship. You're, yeah. you know, a lot of the ports, you'll have opportunities with the ship behind you to take your own photos. Uh, and those aren't mandatory and it just delays the boarding process, in my opinion, because I, I don't generally do that. So you can just bypass it. They say over here for your photo, you can say no thank you and just go ahead if you yeah. want. Uh, yeah. Don't feel that that's mandatory. And it's not just boarding the ship. It's on the ship. They got the big uh, towel elephant mm -hmm. uh, or, you know, you're getting off at a port and they've got like the, the wheel and they take your picture. Or they got it with like a, you know, somebody in a costume. Those those aren't mandatory. You can absolutely skip them and save time doing that. Yeah. That, that I think is sometimes a first time cruiser. Uh, label. Yeah. <laughs>